In this example, we're going to use trusses to create our shed roof. And I turned the roof around. So we have the larger part over the garage header. And we have some blocks here where the trusses sit on top of the wall. It would be a nice thing to block there. Our support bracing to keep the trusses equally spaced. Um, this, this one here in this example, we're using two by four and kind of shoved them up against the webbing, you know. And if, it's, if it works out, great. If not, something like this would be spanned at least a third of the distance, third of the distance, a third of the distance if possible. Roof sheathing. Trusses, another view of it. And again, here we took the took the corner and uh, instead of having a plum cut uh, fascia board, I squared this off. And this works out a lot better for this type of roof. Actually works out most uh, better for more, most roofs that are angled like this. Blocks are angled. And they actually have a framing anchor on them. This uh, helps to tie the block to the wall framing and uh, helps with the perimeter nailing, makes a nice solid connection here. Sometimes the engineer will require a shaped block and an angled block. But uh, again, I'm trying to th throw out some different methods. If you watch enough of the videos, you should be able to figure out some pretty good ways to build your garage. Just what it would look like underneath. And of course, if you were to um, use stucco or siding, you could see how it would finish out nice up here. I guess you might not be able to see that, but I can. Uh, do built to many of these things. Here are the 2x4 lookouts, space 32 inches on center, and the shaped blocks above. And these blocks will need to be a little bit longer so that you can get some nailing down here. If you were going to use plywood siding, or even lap siding, then, uh, and I hate to say that even stucco, stucco is going to give you some sheer, some sheer stapling, we'll call it. Um, but uh, this is always good. Make sure it comes a little bit lower so you can get the siding. If it's not, when the siding absorbs moisture and then releases it through um, cold air and hot air with moisture in it, then the plywood could buckle here if you don't have the blocks. Another view of it there with the shaped blocks. And again, this provides you with the perimeter nailing. And the perimeter nailing on this, you'd basically have two. It would go all the way around the fascia board and then basically all the way around where the walls, where the roofs, roof trusses sit on top of the walls. Hope that makes sense. Always make another video on that. The braces here to help keep the trusses equally spaced and lined up. Use some two by fours with 16D nailing. This one actually put two nails in each one. Sometimes only one nail is going to be required. And that is it. There's your shed roof with trusses. This is a four and 12 pitch. And uh, it is off to the next video.